Critics call him the biggest black eye in Carolina Panthers history. His name, Ray Carruth, and he is scheduled to be released from prison on Monday. The former Panthers wide receiver spent the last 18 years behind bars plotting to kill the mother of his child. Nathan Morabito explains Carruth went from All-American to convicted felon all in his 20s. Yeah, everything changed for Ray Carruth and several others one night almost two decades ago right here on Ray Road in South Charlotte. On the field, Carruth wore number 89 years before Steve Smith ever did. But today he's associated with another number, his state inmate number, 0712822. On the field, Ray Carruth showed promise. Drafted in the first round of the 1997 NFL Draft, fresh off an All-American season at the University of Colorado. Knowing Ray personally, he's a good person, he has a good heart, and I know he's not the type of person that would do something like that, not to a female anyway. He wasn't a violent person. Born in California, he moved into this South Charlotte neighborhood once he joined the Carolina Panthers. They have never really were outside much, um, very quiet and let his play on the football field do most of the talking for his first three seasons. In his personal life, he gave off a good first impression. He seems to be reasonable, intelligent, level-headed, responsible. But eventually, the public's perception of him changed. Following a successful rookie season, He's been out about four games, so uh, he hasn't even been playing much lately anyway. He started getting sidelined by injuries. I think it's, it's bad for the team. Are you got anything to say about Rico? And then the speedy wide receiver couldn't outrun the events of November 16, 1999. The mother of his child shot four times by a hitman near Ray Road. A shooting jurors later determined he orchestrated. Prosecutors said Carruth set the trap. Sharika Adams telling 911 she was following Carruth when he hit the brakes. She died a month later, but not before the emergency delivery of their son. They were going to raise this baby together. Despite his attorney's best efforts to convince jurors Carruth planned on raising that boy, one of his accomplices cast significant doubt. He was saying that um, she was trying to juice him for money and he was already paying like almost $5,000 in child support, and he didn't want to pay another 5000 in child support. We have reached a verdict on all four charges. In the end, the jury convicted him of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder. Carruth is now in his mid-40s. His son, born premature and with cerebral palsy because of the trauma he suffered that night, will turn 19 next month on the anniversary of this shooting. Reporting live, Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte. Nathan, thank you.